name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible. Today's the Bible title is Twelve Chapter. The Israelites came out from Egypt. Exodus thirteen to fifteen. God's people came out of Egypt. The Israelites were out of Egypt with God's help. God let Joseph, Moses lead the Israelites. They knew God was with them. God stayed with them in the clouds. So Moses and oh sorry, they knew that God was with them. God was always with them. God showed them where to go. God showed up. Pillar of fire every night. So God has led the way and also show God showed a pillar of fire every night because it's called. After that people of Israel left Pharaoh chased changed his mind. He followed he he followed the Israelites with his soldiers. The Red Sea was in front of the Israelites. They couldn't cross the sea. They couldn't return to Egypt. Paro and his army were following them. They were going to kill God's people. So like um, sorry. Yeah. So, like, the Israel people were, like, going, like, now we have gone out from the Paro and, like, we are not, like, so lazy anymore. Like, they were, like, excited, but, like, the soldiers of Egypt came to them par with Paro. Like, like Moses said, and in front of Israel people, there were as the seas. Moses said. Don't be afraid. God will save us. Mo God said to Moses, Raise your staff over the sea. The pillar of call stays between the Israelites. Israelites. And Paro's army. When Moses raised the staff, they came and passed to the other side of the sea. The Israelites followed the path and crossed the Red Sea. So there were um, Moses, yes. Like God told to Moses to raise his staff, so he followed God. Then like, there were a path through the sea. Paro and his army were following them. When the Israelites crossed the sea, Moses raised the staff over the sea again. The sea swept Paro's army away. God was with the Israelites. So... Paro and his army followed them in the past, but like God said, raise his staff again. So Moses followed, and like suddenly they all drowned. God's people were free, they were not slaves anymore. Moses and the Is Israel like, sang and danced joyfully, they praised God. Like they were glad to 
Oh no. <laughs> they were glad to follow God. Mm, they're looking so happy. <laughs> they're looking so happy. <laughs> Thirteenth chapter, foot from heaven, Exodus fifteen to sixteen. I am thirsty, said a little girl. I am too, said the father. We won't have any water. We were not slave of, we are not the slaves of Egypt, but we don't have water. The Israel. Israelites traveled the desert for many days. They were thirsty. They complained to Moses. So like people, like after that, there were no water left. So like they were thirsty. So they started to complain to Moses. The Israelites keep on going. <coughs> water, water, they shout with joy. We're like, finally they have found the water. God, uh, the people ran to the water, but they got angry. They found the water of Mara. But the water was too bitter to drink. God said to Moses, throw a piece of wood into the water. Yes, Lord. Moses did, God did what God said. Guess what? The water became sweet. People were amazed with God and drank the water happily. Moses like obeyed God, so the Israelites were able to drink a sweet water. I am hungry, said a little boy. We are hungry too, but there is nothing to eat. The mod said the mother. The Israelites began to complain to Moses again. We're starving to death. Moses prayed to God again. Moses said, God will give you food. God sent down food like draw heaven from heaven every morning. People called the food manna. They didn't know what it was, but it was like cookies with honey. God fed the cloth the Israels every day. So like they started again like saying like we need more food than God has given them manna. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read 14 chapter God's rule? Mm, then let's see you next time. I'll read you another good story. Then let's see you next time.